right everybody here we go welcome back and thanks for watching my videos I appreciate you guys I just wanted to show you this morning today I had to put in a box that does not uh, bolt to the stud or nail to the stud it's a retrofit so what happens is these little flaps let's see can you see them let me take my hand off let me do a good show for you here this little flap uh, it when it goes inside and as you tighten this thing here this little screw it will come up and go behind behind the drywall and hold that tight it'll, it'll hold the box tight okay the other thing is uh, make sure first of all to make sure your power is off and you test it with your tester have a tester but um you, it must be a licensed electrician or somebody that's doing electrical for a long time. If you do it yourself, then you're on, kind of on your own. Just uh, This is how I do it. So I don't recommend anybody trying this without knowing what they're doing. But this is it right here. I uh, just want to show you guys. What I did is I took the white wire, which is normally neutral. Neutral means it directs the power. So this white wire here... What it does, it uh, this is the hot hot wire. It comes in from the panel, and you got to check it to make sure because sometimes you never know who's done electrical on this. A lot of do-it-yourselfers, and they might have mixed the wires. But typically, normally, everything's color coded. So black is the uh, power, and then wherever this white wire comes in, it directs where this power is going to be effective. Without this wire, it could be it could be uh, hot. Energy could be going through it, but it, it won't affect, won't make the plug work. And then this is just to complete a circuit. What happens is if uh, any kind of electricity escape this, uh, this goes right back to the panel, so it doesn't shock you. But you got to be careful, anyways. I like to tighten up my wires. This best connection you could have is a tight connection. And so here we go. I'm going to try my best to show you guys how I put the stuff in, how it all works out. But you saw what we did. Oh, I wanted to ask, also tell you, see the white wire has these white, the silver looking things. Typically, the white wire goes in the silver. It'll tell you on the back. It'll say it's neutral or common. And then this will tell you uh, live or power. Okay. So, oh, look at the difference. This one's brass, which is the power, typically. And this one is silver, which is the uh, uh, neutral, which directs the power to it. Okay, and I like to try to, when I put them in the, in the box, I'll show you. I'll push this box through, tighten it up, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Because I want to organize these wires. See how I've got them? Each one on their side. That way I'm not... Uh, you know, touching the black wire, which is the new, uh, the power wire. I'm not like over tightening all these other ones. In other words, I'm not I'm not crossing this. So later on, it might have a chance of touching and causing a short. But this is it right here. Uh, hopefully, you guys like this. Um, and I thank you very much again. Like I said, let me let me put this thing right here. We're gonna go into my stand. So here we go. This is it right here. All right, here we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this through. There's another piece here, a flap, like I said. I'm going to pull this back. Okay, hold the flap down while I get this through the wall. When I get it through the wall, I just make sure I could use a hammer to make this flat. Okay. It usually works good. Everything's just nice and tight. Okay, see how it looks on the outside? Now, I'm going to take my screw gun and uh, get that flap up. Now it's tight. 
lift up here. I'm going to make sure this is nice and tight. And then, okay, so it's nice and secure, tight to the wall. That's it. Now I'm going to take the uh, wire nuts after I made a good connection on these. Um, on a, a two-wire connection where I'm from, it's a yellow wire nut. There we go. I don't know if I could, you could see that. Uh, let's see here. Yellow. I put it on, spin it, and get it nice and tight. All right. Okay. And then I just try to fold it back here behind it. Same thing here. I'll go with the white two wire system with the yellow wire nut. A three wire system, we normally use the red. And so on. Depends on uh, what type of, how many wires you got. And this box is good for two or even three wires. Uh, in other words, three wires, so six wires altogether. I think that's, that's correct. But you need to check your code wherever you're at. So I'll bend this back. And then I'll put this one here. So here we go. Y'all, better go in here. Let's look at this. All right. See what we got here. See how I've got everything back now folded. All right. Now I'm gonna put it back in its uh, box. See what we got here. So we got this in the box. I'm gonna push that back. And I'm gonna make sure that these wires go back in the box. Everything's tight. And now, just gonna set this here. Pull that. Slipping a little bit. All right, make sure this is nice and straight up and down. So I'm gonna cover it like that. Same thing here. All righty then, we got this. That's there. All right, so there it is, nice and tight. I got the plate right here. This plate is nylon. I like to use nylon because plastic uh, breaks if you tighten it too tight. So nylon. If you can find it, it's a good thing. All right, so there it is. I put it on. Now all I gotta do is get my screwdriver and screw it in, okay? Look at that. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell comment. Let me know how you do it and what you think. All right, I'm always willing to learn, but I am licensed, bonded and insured, and I thank God for that. Uh, my customers really uh, trust that. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe. I need to get a lot of likes, thumbs up and subscribers. I'm at 1010 right now and I need watch hours. So hopefully you guys watch this all the way through the video. Thank you. Have a good day and hope you learned something.